here in Phoenix, Arizona. We're getting ready to test a couple of our larger nozzles. We're going to go ahead and flow this entire pool. We've got ourselves in a Biz A400. We're going to run the two inch nozzle, um, maybe a couple of one and a half inchers. And for sure, we're going to attempt to run the four inch nozzle in this pool. It's going to be awesome. So stay tuned. Yeah, let's do 100%. Let's we'll just see it. I think it's a good six to seven inches underneath the water, and it's still pushing that up. So that's the kind of flow we're going to get into our uh, two inch and possibly our four inch nozzle. We'll see if we can get that to work. We're just going to stick this puppy on there. The slip fit. Nice and tight. And we're gonna bump this thing down to the, just like 25% to start. 25%, uh, well 26, close enough. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start it. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we got a little bit of flow coming. You can see it kind of agitating the surface there. Let's go ahead and uh, crank that up. Oh yeah. So that's about half of the, the Biz A400 kind of blowing through there. So we're going to go ahead and try uh, two two-inchers. Got it rigged up. There we go. Right. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> huh. Huge. We're guesstimating around 4,000 gallons an hour? I think it's actually all about 5,000. Is it? Okay. Maybe four to 5,000. It's I think this a, is pulls... probably 24 inches below the surface. Uh, yeah, I'd say that's about right. The pulsing action right there. Yeah, it's definitely going. Yeah, so probably not it's quite enough. Lower, though. Yeah, it should change directions very slowly. This thing's rated for 150 gallons per minute, which is, I want to say it's around 9,000 gallons an hour. It's like a little wave coming at me, a wave maker. 